Hey guys, it's me Bria and today we're doing a Black Friday haul. We did a good amount of damage on Black Friday, I won't even lie, but it was very worth it and oh, everything I got I'm so happy and pleased with. I'm still waiting for a couple of items, but I figured we might as well get this haul going and I'll show you guys what I got. So let's go. Okay, so first off I want to start with merch I bought. So the two people slash brands that I shopped from during Black Friday was Miss Remy Ashton and Liv Tinted. So Miss Remy Ashton, let me tell you guys, I've literally been watching her since I was maybe 10 years old, 11 years old. Like she's been my favorite YouTuber ever since then. So I got three things from her line. The first thing I got is this little hat, this little baseball cap. And I'm not one for baseball caps typically but I just could not resist like the pastels the white and it's all embroidered it says unbothered and thriving I thought it was so cute I've already worn it in the gym once and I absolutely love it then I got the matching crew neck which also just says unbothered and thriving and it's in this beautiful blue color it's not too blue like it's not too bright it's very like it's a very muted like baby blue kind of but it's bit darker and it's so comfy and it's like the perfect oversize. I got a small and I absolutely love it. And the last thing that I got from her merch, which I am so excited for this, I think this was the, probably the item that I was most excited for, is this t-shirt. Tell me it is not adorable. It says, it has come to my attention that I have completely overreacted. And like anyone who knows me personally, very fitting. It's a very fitting t-shirt for me. So I got it in a size medium so it's a little bit oversized and I can wear it to the gym and like have a big t-shirt moment. I fell in love with it when she dropped it, when she put it in her vlogs. I was like, oh, I need this. So that was everything I bought from Remy's merch drop, also her first merch. She will never see this video, but congratulations. Next, I got merch from Liv Tinted. So they collabed with Phenomenal, AKA like Mina Harris's brand. So this drop, I knew I had to get it. It's this beautiful bright orange sweatshirt and it says phenomenally brown and I just I love the color of it. It's it's like a nice little oversized but it's not too oversized and it's just stunning and then on the back it says phenomenal x live tinted which is so cute but it like kind of gets hidden by the hood which I do really like. I really love it. It's like this beautiful bright orange color and I wasn't expecting it to be this bright but once it came and I like put it on, it looked so good. Okay, the next place I shopped during Black Friday was Gymshark. Gymshark always has such a good Black Friday sale. I got stuff last year, I got three sets. The first thing I got are the Gymshark Adapt Flex Seamless Leggings. I love Gymshark leggings, they're like this beautiful red color with like this like lighter red fleck pattern and I love the Adapt line. It's probably my favorite line and these leggings look so cute. If you're gonna buy any line from Gymshark, get the adapt line whether it's the adapt animal the adapt camo the adapt fleck whatever you like get the adapt line it is the best thing you can do for yourself trust me the next thing i got is the gymshark fraction crop top i love this t-shirt it's so cute and i like how the gymshark is like cut off but i'm not a big t-shirt wearer but when i do wear a crop t-shirt this is like the perfect thing and it's the perfect length and I do like how it's a little bit more boxy fitting so I just think it like looks a little bit better on. The next thing I got were the Gymshark training loose fit short. I don't really wear shorts like this that much. I don't have many athletic shorts. I've been getting a little bit more into cardio and running and stuff so I've definitely needed a few more things like this. So I got these and I was really nervous when I like took them out but they ended up looking really really good on. They are a little bit loose but I don't mind that because they're not like digging into my stomach which is really nice. And I just thought they'd be nice to try. So the next three sets, or not three sets, but the next like group of things that I got was all from the Flex line. I got the dark green marl. And I love the waistband and like the way the branding is. So I really wanted to try it. And the shorts are such a good length. They're not too long. They're not too short. I always find them to be a little bit long and then they look awkward and it's just not it. But the Gymshark ones do not do that. And then I got the matching sports bra with it as well. Again, in that dark green marl. And I think the set looks so, so cute. Also, the back has this little like hole at the bottom, which I think is so cute. Then I got the flex shorts in gray, again, with this yellow waistband. I can wear this with a gray sports bra, with black, white, like any other color. So I just got them in gray. And then finally, I got the flex strappy sports bra 
in light purple mall. I love, love, love the branding in the back so much. I also got the matching shorts, but they had a hole in them. So I'm just exchanging them and I'm waiting for those to come in, but this is what they look like. Okay, the next place I shopped for on Black Friday was Set Active. This is the first time I've ever tried Set Active stuff, but I've always seen their stuff and I thought it's so, so cute. So I thought Black Friday was the perfect time to try their stuff out. But the first thing that I got is this adorable sports bra. It's so cute. It's in the color Storm and it is the Lux Form Racer V sports bra it is very very comfortable it's a really nice sports bra for back day just something simple um, but i really like this color it's kind of like a grayish black I the next thing i got from set active which i feel like they're kind of known for it's their like one shoulder sports bra this, this is the sculpt flex one shoulder sports bra in canyon and then i also got the matching sculpt flex leggings now these leggings i really liked and the feel of them is a lot more similar to gymshark leggings so i really like them but i really like the set as it is and like if you throw in a little zip up with like another jacket on top it's a really cute outfit okay then the last three things i got from set active i'm just gonna like put them up here um i unfortunately haven't got them yet i got two more of the Lux form bras so i got it in this color baby and then i also got it in the color cosmo which i thought they were so so cute the other thing I got is the set crop, which is just like a little light to me, but I can tell a little light like cropped long sleeve that I can wear to the gym, out, just anything. And it's in the color Jersey. I'm really excited for this color. It looks like a very like dark teal, which I think will be really pretty and I don't have any colors like it. So I'm looking forward to when those come in. So that was everything that I got from Set Active. Now let's move on to Lululemon. Okay, I would also like to say that I do work at Lululemon. So I got an additional discount on top of the Black Friday discount just for you guys to know, but unfortunately, most of my stuff has not come in yet, but I thought I'd show you guys the stuff that has come in and just show you pictures of the things that haven't. I got the All Yours tee in Aztec Brick. I love this t-shirt. It's so comfy and it's just like a nice little t-shirt to have. I've really been into orange lately, just the color in general. Everything about the color orange right now makes me happy. Um, so I've been adding a lot more of it into my closet and this t-shirt was just an add-on into that. The next thing that I got is the Back in Action Long Sleeve in Delicate Mint. I love this color. This is a new color that we've dropped um, recently, but I just I think it's such a pretty color and it's so flattering. It's like very thin long sleeve, so it's I feel like also something good to layer in or travel or loungewear or anything like that. Final thing that, have co that has come in my package is just some Wonder Unders in black. I love my Wonder Unders. They're top five leggings I own. I actually like Wonder Unders more than I like Aligns just because I can also work out in them and I do find them really comfortable too. So the next thing that I got from Lulu is this Muscle Love long sleeve shirt in autumn red and I liked cropped long sleeves to wear to the gym especially for my warm-up and stuff so I figured this would be perfect. Then the next thing that I got are the Groove Super High Rise Flared Pant. Now when I tell you I literally check my app every single day to get these. I check my app every single day to get these. So I got them in French press, which is a brown color, and I'm very excited for when they come in. Then the next thing that I ordered is the cool racerback short tank top in the color pink puff. Then I got some wonder unders in mold wine. Then I got some beyond the studio joggers. I actually don't have any beyond the studio. I only have dance studio and scuba joggers. So we got the beyond the studio joggers in black. The next thing that I got is the in alignment racerback bra. I love this bra. It is one of the most comfortable sports bras like known. The next thing that I got is the Ebb to Street tank top in navy blue. It's a nice racerback tank top. That's what it looks like. It has a built-in bra, which is really nice too. So I can wear it more as like a casual top rather than a workout top. Then I got the warm down joggers in the marble dye silk French press. It's like this reddish dye. And then finally, I got the, the Adapted State High Rise Fleece Joggers. I figured this would be really good. I'm going to school in Boston. So I figured this would be really good for Boston and to wear around campus and stuff. Okay, so that was everything I got from Lululemon. Now, finally, the last place, Sephora. So let's start off with hair care and body care. I only got one thing for my body and this was more of a splurge of like a, ooh, let me get this. I got the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Crush Body Spray. I love this stuff. It smells so good. Then next up, I got the Amica Soul Food Nourishing Mask. I've used this about two to three times now and I really, really like it. Every single time I use it, I swear my hair feels softer and smoother and it's not as frizzy and it just looks beautiful. So the next thing I've got is this Color Wow Speed Dry Blow Dry Spray. I've been looking 
for a new like heat protectant and blow dry spray when it says a speed dry spray like it genuinely does blow dry my hair faster i feel it also helps with like my frizziness and dryness i feel like and my hair always looks a little bit better after i blow dry it with this this is the next thing that i got from sephora this is the bread hair oil it's the everyday gloss i blow dried my hair yesterday and it's just so smooth and shiny they're both definitely like new staples now for sure okay moving on to all of the makeup i got during the sale a lot of it was like replenish um but then i did get a few new products to try let's start with the products that i replenished the first product is the charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless finish setting spray i'm sure everyone and their mother knows about this it's worth the hype it's such a good setting spray i've gone through this is my third bottle now and I absolutely love it. The other thing that I replenished, or I guess this is like a new replenish, I guess. I was running out of brow gel. I've heard a lot of people talk about Kosas and their brow products, so I want to try it. So this is the Kosas Airbrow in brown black. I love this stuff. Also a new favorite for sure. The next thing I got is also from Miss Charlotte Tilbury. It's the Hollywood Flawless Filter. This is in shade 5.5 Tan. I love this stuff. I personally like it for a primer this is a very pretty skin tint as well depending on the look you're going for and how much coverage you want i just like a little bit more i would definitely recommend this then the last thing i got from miss charlotte tilbury is the airbrush flawless finish um i unfortunately got a shade too dark this is the shade three tan and it was just a little bit too dark for me so i have to go exchange it but i really really like the way it like finishes on your skin i would 1 million percent recommend it the next thing that i got is the givenchy prisme libre loose powder um so it has like the four shades again i got a shade too dark but like the finish and everything about it is 100 worth the hype the packaging is beautiful the next thing i got is from milk it's the sunshine skin tint i've really been wanting to try a new skin tint and i really liked the way this one is it's a rollerball applicator which is really interesting you just like push this little pump right here and it like pumps it out and it's really nice it's not too thick in coverage really like the way this and the flawless filter look together so i can i pair these a lot this is really, really pretty i really like it i like the coverage i like the finish it's a very natural finish this i've been loving a lot then the final thing that i got makeup wise at sephora are the tower 28 lip glosses these two were a holiday set this one's called chestnut and i don't know if you can see but it has little gold flecks in it and then it also just came with the clear one i love the tower 28 lip glosses you guys like i'm wearing it right now i'm actually wearing this one which is in the shade coconut it's like a mauvey milky pink which is really pretty these lip glosses are just the best things out on the market in my opinion they're my favorite lip glosses they're so so perfect that was all the makeup that i bought during the sale now last but not least skincare so i did restock on some skincare items the first item and the only like true restock is the kale green tea and spinach superfood cleanser this cleanser has my heart it so i had to restock on this of course then the next thing that i restocked on but i'm also trying new is this natrium also this was not at sephora but um this natrium purple ginseng cleansing balm i've used this so far and this is the best cleansing balm i've used the next thing that i restocked slash bought is the say sun visor sheer moisturizer it is a sunscreen it's so nice it's a mineral sunscreen just to put that out there but it gives such a nice glow and it's really nice under makeup so i really like it it does have a little bit of an odd smell but mineral sunscreens are the move the next thing i got the dr dennis gross universal daily peel pad so it's a two-step like solution so this is step one step two and they're just like aha and bhas they are pricey so i decided to get it during the sale i don't necessarily know if i'll use them again but i have been seeing a difference in my skin and then finally the last product i bought is the laneige skin toner it's like a lotion toner it's for normal to dry skin i have not gotten to try it out yet but i'm finishing up the current toner which i'm using which is the glow recipe one i don't love it i really don't see a difference in what it's doing to my skin but i'm just finishing that one up and i want to use this one and i've heard a lot of people talk 
really good about it and say really good things and how it's like super good for dry skin from sephora and that also concludes our haul i hope you guys enjoyed today's video let me know what more you want to see in the comments make sure to subscribe like and comment and i'll see you guys next time bye